What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Louisiana Empire. So to pick up where we left off, uh, this army marched around our force that we moved up to intercept them to lay siege to Christiana, which is already has a strong garrison. Um, however, we have marched Theodore uh, south in attempt to intercept and destroy them. Which I think that's the order. It could well actually be um, our garrison sailing for Christiana. Actually, it might well be our. Uh, it might well be our garrison. Let's find out. Are we going to see Theodore or Michelle? I believe. It's been a bit. There's been a bit of a gap since I've uh, recorded this episode. Recorded my last episode of the Louisiana campaign. And there'll always be some element of catching up to do. Hence my loss of that army at sea once, just because I completely forgot about it. Let us continue. You want to drive the Spanish, the, the Swedish away back towards their capital and continue our push. Okay. Artillery park behind the lines. Let's have a core of our mercenaries and, and line infantry. Then on each flank our guards and grenadiers can push up. We can both have Hussar support, but I think they're going to be okay. My general can move up with a unit of Hussars. Our howitzers can sit here, firing quick climb. And let's engage. So my our line infantry wants to make progress, but actually we might sit here and withstand these cavalry charges or at least in the units that need it that need to uh, be ready to respond they will respond everyone else can is going to be ordered to advance quite sure what the intent here was let's make sure our quick climbing Howitzers are engaging these targets to the rear. Large cavalry push on the right, which we need to be aware of. Where's my hussars? Push them up, because they might spar with the general. Okay, all these guys drop into square. Push our hussars around the flank. These guys can stay where they are, because they're going to be engaging the enemy. These brave and glorious men advance. You're going to be intercepting and destroying the enemy cavalry force. We've got some Dragoon guards advancing on foot. Our field artillery is engaging their artillery. Push my cavalry up. They dismounted a lot of their dragoons. Let's get our general out here ready to start to intercept pretty much all of this routing infantry. Push my infantry units up. My general, you can engage the horse grenadier guards who are on foot. We're doing some great work against their troops inside inside the tree line they think they can they think the cover of the trees will protect them it will not and my hussars are doing a good job against the dragoons on foot they're likely going to intercept our infantry that are reinforcing push up my elite infantry on the flank again let's keep pressure up those guys got hit by devastating Quick climb shot. The hussars are picking up the speed. Make sure my infantry on the flank are in guard mode because they're going to get some. Get, they're going to engage this regiment of horse that looks like it's attempting to charge our hussars, who will now now charge or fire. Will 
this turned off for these guards. You guys hit that unit of dragoons. Let's pivot these traps like this so they can engage or continue to engage the enemy. Let's with these hussars hit the dragoons. Actually, you come back to go hit that regiment of horse and give our general some support. Not ideal because it now leaves one unit of Hussars available to attempt to intercept the enemy forces but then again they can't really ignore this general unit. Keep pushing up my line. Let's try and protect my general. Hussars charge in. The general's bodyguard break off to try and finish off those grenadier guards. I'd like my hussars to kill their general quickly so they can start to take advantage of these routing troops. The actual line itself. The European mercenaries are doing a grand job forming the centre of our line. This is probably one of their it won't be their first battle, but it will be close to. Go on, General. You've got permission. Go engage those horse grenadier guards and then push up and go knock out these chaps. Let's keep my artillery engaging, although, to be honest, it looks like they're about to suffer a. No. There's couple of horses that are still in contact with the enemy. Okay, ignore the cavalry, chase down the Grenadier Guards. Their general has been killed. They have a unit of marines still existing. Unit of marines on the flank. Let's pivot this infantry to engage that unit of marines. Let's call for a ceasefire of all our artillery. General's bodyguard. Engage. Probably go for the marines first. Try and go for as many troops up the hill as we can. stuff. 37 foot guards are going to break. Most of these are likely to escape. Damn right we're going to continue. It's not the speed up a little bit, but not too far. I don't want to lose too much control. Then go after the Vastabotten regiment. You try hit this regiment of Grenadier Guards. We're not going to kill these Marines, sadly. We might, actually. We just need to do as much damage as possible. There is still this infantry unit wandering around. I'm not quite sure where their associated troops are hiding. These guys have got a shot killing the Grenadier Guards. If you guys can knock out these last marines, charge and go hit the 37th. You guys knock out the last of these Grenadier Guards and then also chase down the marines. And then this unit can go and engage the gun crews wherever they are. So I don't think it's them. They don't usually count. Maybe they do. to escape. I mean, it seems odd, because usually usually the uh, units go and attack the infantry that accompany these trailing teams. Usually it's not the, the trailing teams that actually count as needing to be killed 
but their force has been destroyed. 2,276. And Norway is safe. Let's build some roads. Replenish my troops. So this trip force to the north can attempt to chase them down, but they will likely flee into the hills. See, we've secured Copenhagen. We're reinforcing where we need to be. It's a bit of a side sideshow to what's going on in India. So we've got an army coming in. This guy's waiting to see what they do there. Destroy the garrison. Or destroy the army down here in the port. So I think the option orders, may be to attack Satara. Because this will be a significant ca territory to capture on our left flank. Goa is... Where is us? Let's just make sure our agents are distributed properly. So we've got a, we've got a seminary down here. You can't kill anyone. We also have a priest. But I think I'd rather push my priest up. Because I don't think we're winning this overall conversion. Against this guy. So let's keep uh, our conversions going. And push up. Obviously, it's a bit of a Ready. large force near Hyderabad. Let's pick up some. Actually, let's pick up four infantry and two Maison de Roy. Maison de Roy. Because that's quite a big. Quite a big force, but. Siege work underway. Let's go and destroy the Satara garrison and deny the Mughal Empire one of their universities for research. Every every town we take is a significant blow to their power. What I really like, what I really want to do with this campaign is if I can take India, I can then push in Europe, push against Europe from all directions. I'll be smashing through the Middle East, coming down from Scandinavia probably land and hit Spain as well. Good times, I think. Let's deploy our artillery. Let's deploy our howitzers. So, colonial lines are slightly better. Attempting to climb over walls when it comes to melee stats. Our guard core are going to hang back. We're going to bring some. Actually, to be honest, do we even attack the right here? We don't normally, but let's do it. General can get involved. Bring down. Ooh, you guys drop quick climb on the centre. If I've got those all attack orders in quickly enough, one of them. Some of them. <laughs> yeah, just keep attacking the centre then. Don't have to worry. Our uh, field artillery is going to make their way in quickly enough. So let's just speed up time. Is my, are my artillery going? Am I, is my artillery firing at will? No, you guys aren't even firing. Okay, what about that one? Okay, all of you aim at the same point, at least. Let's make a breach somewhat quick. Quick D. It might... Okay, I'm going to stop one of these one of these artillery units from... Actually, no, that works out. I was going to say, I wanted to stop one of them from attacking the centre, because that might be a bit cheap. My storming divisions can march into place with some cuirassier support. They're aiming at our cavalry, or they're aiming at our howitzers and missing, so let's slightly set them off axis. They don't have mortars back here, they have the great guns. I'm curious, A, they should blow some heads off of their own troops. So speed up time just to watch 
the traje what the trajectory is like out of these guns. We're aiming at my infantry. A pretty good trajectory. Although they are doing some damage to their own facilities. Okay, begin to start quick climbing some of their units near the breach. Our infantry move them up. Our cavalry move them up. The howitzers are going to make short work of these garrisons. Not so bothered about them yet. We may as well just keep knocking out these chaps. Our assault infantry can continue to walk. Our war elephants are upset. Well, theirs are, because I think they've killed a few. The trajectory of some of their guns might not be high enough. I mean, that unit should get decimated from a quicklime shot. I was aiming at trying to create a second breach. Here comes the quicklime. Good God alive. It went from 375 down to 200, that one went down to 100. Let's retarget. Make sure we don't hit the 18th anymore, because um, they don't have many men left as it is. Okay, these troops run, and our coureurs de bois run, so they don't get shot in the back too badly. Good. Okay, now this infantry can. Run. This infantry push over into the trees, stay away from this side, so they don't get engaged by musketry as much. Put my skirmishers up here as well. We've got no one covering this wall. We're probably going to send up the camels to the breach, or to the gatehouse here. Doing some good damage. Accidentally, we might have hit the 18th once more as they form into square. But also, they might actually charge out of the breach. Which would be a big mistake. Okay, so let's get a unit to hunker down side of the gatehouse. Get one unit to scale one side, a unit to scale the other. This unit hunker down as well. These guys can scale, but to be honest we're probably going to look at mass assaulting through the breach. So for the sake of decency, let's start to get our how it says to hit the camel nomads with round shot rather than quick climbing the bejesus out of them. I reserve the right to quick climb the bejesus out of them just at a later date. See, these guys are going to run around through the breach to get up on this wall. You guys are going to hunker down here as well, as are you. Because when the gate is ours... These men are going to pour in. Cavalry can push in. Skirmishers can 
get up here as well. Well, it looks like they're going to let us. Nope, the dervishes are getting involved. But our men are pouring in. We've taken this house. Their artillery may cause some trouble. Our men aren't in position yet. These guys are could run through the walls, but they're going to run... They are going to run around the uh, sides. In which case then, you men just charge in. begin engaging. I don't like how the dervishes say they're winning, so let's get our cavalry around the flanks. To be honest, you guys might just cavalry, just charge into the dervishes as well. They're going to deploy their camels, so let's deploy our cavalry. This colonial line hit that unit of levy. Okay, these men can try and form a square, but I doubt they will. Big scrum in the centre. Let's try and get some of these mercenaries in. So you guys are engaging the levy. This colonial line unit run behind them, but don't get into trouble. Camels have charged to the rear. No, wait, no, no. You guys run in. Yeah, you guys go into that. Go into this breach and try and hit the guys defending in the rear. You guys charge in through that side. You guys charge in through... Oh, you're all going to charge in through the same side. Crack it. Squares forming up. So these horsemen are not going to last. These war elephants are winning because there is significant amounts of them. Let's pour my heavy cavalry through the breaches. You guys shoot the back of the... Shoot into the combat over there. Although, to be honest, you guys can probably dismount. Our cuirassier have routed. Clean a line of wavering because of the general's bodyguard. Those men, those units, those troops routed. Good, let's get my men off the wall. Run, 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 cavalry. Let's get my cavalry to go fight in the centre. To prevent their... To prevent their uh, musketry from the centre doing too much damage. Let's start to switch some of our guys to hit some of these units with quicklime. Cuirassiers have come back into the action. Okay, you guys are going to be fighting the Zamadai horsemen again. Fight this last unit of war elephants. They're doing a good job, but... <coughs> They're doing a good job, but the war elephants cannot stand. You guys can fire into the back of this combat because there's just uh, sound issues. To be honest, you guys probably can as well. You guys start to pick at the general's bodyguard.
begin to pull some of our troops out of this combat because it looks like it's probably going to be over fairly soon. Get some of my cavalrymen fighting in the centre, some of our quick loans finally paying off. The general's been killed. Camel Nomads are still doing okay, as is the Elephants, but I doubt they're going to do too well. Okay, get our artillery to quick climb the center. You guys start to fire off against those units. General's bodyguard, so he is wavering. Let's commit our cuirassiers, commit this unit of infantry to engage the Camel Nomads. You guys hit the great gun. General's bodyguard has been engaged. Our Cure de Bois have been hit by the skirmishes, so let's deploy some more men to help them out. Form these men as blocking companies. Good stuff. Run our cover into the back of the levee. Starting to see reinforcements come in. Although we've taken all of the gatehouses, so the only way they can get in is through our own breaches, in which case, let's get you guys up onto the wall here. Okay, our cavalry. Let's charge the cavalry on. Let's stop the howitzers from firing at all. Deploy these line infantry units to engage that chap with a musketry at point blank range. Yep, you guys can't get in. I mean, they can scale the walls, but they never normally seem to do that. Got him! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got him. Turn firewall off. Let's get you guys like this, so you don't fire into the back of my cavalry combat. So these bowmen... I got my, some of my skirmishes up in the hill, up into this building rather, not the hill. Probably going to take some. These men are going to take some hits. Just focus fire on that unit of bowmen. So the square is ours. They are running like things possessed, trying to get around the flank. We've routed their camel gunners. These Islamic swordsmen are going to get a taste of, of, my, of uh, Louisiana musketry from the walls. Maybe these bowmen should be down for the count. These units I might actually just reorganise like this to make sure they're not these guys aren't firing across into the combat here. These guys, they're actually climbing the walls. Hey! Theodore is here. Never fear. Although, not really going to be a problem. The swordsmen have routed. They've not got great morale. The camels may actually make it to one of the entrances. But, uh... Not enough to make a significant contribution. There's my men pour fire into these Hindu musketeers, standing into the breach into their own city. And the timer has concluded. Poor old Dakini. 
Excellent. We've established a base, well, a, a stronger forward position on the west coast of India. That's another major loss. So let's repair the buildings. Let's get our recruitment going. Let's get a yes, unit sir. of militia recruited back here to protect this port. Can probably stand to move our navy up to take position there. Let's probably have a look. You've got a militia unit. So their next main, the next port, the home, the main, next, well, their home port is now Surat, which has a carronade frigate. Put them under blockade. They're still getting some income. Actually, apparently not. Uh, let's take this fleet, Sands second rate, move them up. I say I said sand second rate. <laughs> Still ship shape. Disembark our agents. Slipping ashore. Get you up to a Medabad. Watching and listening. Going ashore. Let's get you up to Eugene. Everyone else we've got quite good visibility on. Let's repair the cotton plantation. Let's destroy the university. Let's send our rake up to Akbarabad. As you wish. So you are likely to go west to deal with or to head off some raiding around this area. Our garrison here is at full strength. This guy's at full strength. You were pushing pushing towards Katak. Again, this is still a bit of a holding action up here in Calcutta. These guys leave Mysore? They can! Only minus one! Okay, let's push them up. You've already tried to kill this guy. From a research perspective, uh, Kolapo is going to be destroyed. Although, is traditional university less than classical university? I think it is. Either way, six turns to platoon firing. <laughs> For Frontenac is starting to catch up some of my cavalry research. Cambridge is the big one, though. Getting on to classical economics. Mentioning dispatches from Maurice Duplé. Duplié. Duplé. Duplé. He's 41, however. Let us... Sorry. Let's make sure you are replenishing. You are. Okay, let's hit end turn. And see what delights happen. Again, the Royal Navy being sneaky sneaky in the Irish Sea, but we're not interested because... Ooh. Well, the Austrians take Paris. They're desperately trying to stop them. Yeah, the French have managed to push them off. <laughs> but the Austrians have got two troops left. Ooh. I don't want to fight them, but I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Lost three ships, but I'm going to take these two second rates into our service. Yeah, I'm just really no good at naval battles, so when I don't have to fight them, I don't want to fight them. They've been pushed all the way over to near Denmark and Swedish territory. Ironically, still near us, still near our navy. Australia's advancing. Well, look, they are probably advancing based on my visibility of absolutely nothing. They are pushing westward. Don't worry, Austria. We'll leave you alone. <laughs> well, I'm going to do some good raiding. Here come more troops. Obviously, yeah, they were always going to send... They are always going to do raiding. Oh, they're deploying more men. They're recruiting so many men. The hope would be that uh, eventually they'd start to run out of the funds to do so. Enemy sail approaching! Ooh, they're actually going to attack us. How good is our strength? We're pretty strong. 
they're pretty weak. So I think I'm probably, looking at the time, I'm going to win the episode here and then repel this Moogle force. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for hopefully the destruction of yet another army. Cheers, everyone.